Rubeboy303 and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode we saw, or witnessed as it were, the band of Sumeka pretty much dying as they only have a lifespan of about five years for some reason. And arrived here in this, we arrived here in this here super trick quiz. Or I think I called it the super trick maze for some reason at the end of the last episode. But I can't remember the actual name so I'm going to call it the super fun happy quiz. Quiz machine starting, proceed with quiz, yes. This machine asks gamer questions. Now, just for the record, I have gotten all of the answers written down because they make no sense. <laughs> so, there is no cow level, no. Question two, has Yoshimitsu's sword ever been cursed? Yes. Fire was better than octopus? No. It's impossible to be Rokaku Guji? No. All questions correct. Clearing path. See, I wouldn't have known what any of that means, except for the fact that Yoshimitsu is from, like, Soul Calibur and Tekken games and that. I think he may have had his own game at one point, I'm not sure. I don't know. Quiz machine starting. Proceed, yes. This machine asks music questions. Question one, did she in fact see the skater boy later? Even without the answers, I know that that is true. She did see him later. Boy. Um... <laughs> In the song Tokyo, he thinks he has broken his heart again, and also lost love again. No. Question 3. What do the pillows want to wake up? Is it a duck? No, it is not. My favourite song on Miho Hattori's album, Ek Dysis, is Walking City. It is not. Professor K always plays many songs by Hideki Naganuma. Sure. To qualify as a wild challenger, there is no need for any tricky style. No. And the song Cats 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 made famous by Sumeku originated in Visbu. It did because I remember a guy in the Dufa Gym or a woman in the Dufa Gym saying that. Saying that he heard it from the Visbu region. Right. Quiz machine starting. Proceed with quiz? Yes. This asks Hoenn questions. The zombie outbreak happened in 2010? No it didn't. Hoenn joined the UN in 1974, yes. Mr. Briney used to be in the Sino Navy, indeed he did. Hoenn's most famous writer was Tancred de Lam Lantement, or Lantamont, or however you want to pronounce that. Question 5, Hoenn was unified in 1870, true, yes. Before Lilikov, Rusborough was a capital, twas not. The last president of Hoenn was Marcus Cuticle, yes. Question 8. An old Hoennian proverb says that you should never trust a goose. Is this a good idea? It is indeed. Question 9. Enze Protz was from Hoenn. He was not, or she was not. Seeing as though Enze or Enz or whatever that name is isn't a good indication of whether it's a male or female. Right. Fourth and final quiz machine. Proceed with quiz. Asks general Triver questions. Mmm, driver questions are my favourite. Question 1. Millipedes have many legs. Well, they do, but the answer's no. Potato? Yes. Do you know what furking is? No. Question 4. Dost thou shake rams? I do not shake any rams. The owl and the panther shared a pie, yes or no? Apparently they did. Ist, ist, fifth. Is that meant to be first, first, fifth, fifth, nine, sharp, nine? I don't know. Qu is this question six? It is, so yes. Pregunta seven. Los rapes son capaces de montar una bicicleta? Well, that wasn't even a question. That was more of a statement. So no. Yet again, I give you an, a stupid question. Uh, pff, yes. Father William can balance an eel on the tip of his nose, yes? Yes. Is this the last question? It is not. Question 11, is the cutler in laughing at you right now? He is not. All questions correct, clearing path. Path cleared. And now a little word of advice. Do not interact with that crate there. I believe it sends you somewhere to where you basically it's an instant game over or something. So even though it looks like one of those nice potion crates, ignore it. And now we teleport out of here. Cause, oh, it's back in... That's where we jumped down into the water, wasn't it? Now I'm just going to make a quick cut and be back momentarily. 
And now I have returned, even though I didn't really do much. I just wanted to check that the super fun happy quiz had actually, you know, just been fully recorded so I didn't have to go through it again. So, um, this is basically we've gotten to the end, or pretty much almost to the end of the game. Because I've been I've been like going from I say I've been going, I've been judging where we where we are in the game from how well from how f uh, da, da, da. I've basically been judging it from my walkthrough like the titles of there and I believe this is what I called well I called this for some reason the uh, da, 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 da. I've forgotten the word well done brain I called this area head slinger hallway because it was basically a hallway full of head slingers so <laughs> so yeah I don't know what else to say because I believe it was after this, um, it was basically the final boss area. And this is honestly where, honestly, uh, there, if I could say honestly anymore, this is where I'm anticipating, well not here specifically, but at the end of this hallway, once we walk up to the boss battle area, it's where I'm anticipating this game to, you know, crash like it did last time, so that'll be fun. And apparently this guy is here to terrorise this town. And I remember anti-spiral, it was weak to being punched. That was good English. It was weak to fighting, that's what I'm trying to say, not being punched. And another anti-spiral, right, or anti-spiral or whatever you want to call it. No, the sheriff, he is too strong. Right. Good thing about this place, or this necropolis head slinger hallway, is that there are... Oh, there's one there as well. Hooey. <laughs> oh, hooey! Not hooey. There we go, and Stitcher, oh. You know what, Liam? Just go for the Perish song because you can. And then I'll switch into Scott because I don't know why I did that. Let's fly and avoid everything. <laughs> fly and avoid responsibility. Did he just say Tarnation? Right. I should put Liam back up front again. Vomit to the lasers, time to battle. Sent out my asthma, which I instantly regret. Lydia, help. Surf. Surf at him. Surf in his face, and that did not go well, did it? Right. Full restore. And surf on him again. Electabuzz. I can't even remember what type it was, besides I'm assuming part electric. But it cannot deal with... Psychic very well. And by psychic I mean the move psychic, not the type. Because I'm meaning I did a decent amount of damage, is what I'm saying. I've run out of jokes. Time to battle. Okay, Kathy, I I trust you and what you're saying. Oh, right, okay, then let's just go into Derek then, since he's going to Well not he, since she is going to reheal or just heal up her Pokemon. And yuck, no, um, wait, did I teach Derek Earthquake? I, can't, I did, yes. So we may as well stay in and try Earthquake then. Ta-da, Earthquake wins. This battle zombie is standing here and doing absolutely nothing whatsoever. Yikes. Right. Um, I can't remember which way goes where. And this man apparently comes from a long line of Magnuses, or Magni, or whatever you, or however you wish to pronounce it. Perish count Thunderbolt. Let's see what that does. Not much then. And I don't know why I used Shockwave because that's just a weaker Thunderbolt. I don't know. Right. And now we're at the end of the hallway, so there's just um. Okay, I'm guessing this is this is probably the way to go, seeing as now. This, judging by the uh, the amount of Pokemon this guy has, it's probably meant to be tougher than the other one. And yes, I am just <laughs> rushing through all of these because I can't quite remember, um, well, I couldn't exactly remember what, uh, not what, how long it was. And by how long I mean, I meant how many trainers. And since I know that these trainers have gotten ridiculously tough at this point, it could have gotten pretty difficult to actually, um, go anywhere or do anything. So, I'm going to make another quick cut for safety reasons. 
And by my powers of deduction, and by deduction I mean going back and re-watching the very last... I say re-watching. I didn't watch the full thing, I only watched like the first 30 seconds. So I could realise, well not realise, find out which was the correct door to go through. We indeed have to go through the right door. I mean, the, by that I mean door on the right. If you go through the door on the left, it takes you back to that giant maze in the necropolis. Or I think the first maze. And another thing I have realised, we have reached the end of this game, which is the final battle indeed. And now what I am expecting is, if and when we defeat the Senex right here, I do it, I anticipate the game will break, so I will hopefully, if if me, as in me, who will remember while editing this, will have created an ending for the story. So let's step up to the plate and take on the final battle. It seems you found me, Tori. Senex, your time has come. Has it? Look around. I don't get it. What is it? Your friends have been made conspicuous by their absence, my child. Wh where are they? I shall let Glyce and Temulence answer that. You two, fetch them. Yes, my lord. No! Insert evil laughter because I'm not laughing that much. Now prepare to be crushed. And yes, this is indeed the very final battle and it does come to an abrupt end. Because for some reason my game doesn't like working. Right. But for now let's have fun in the fact that we could still win and save the world. Hooray! Um, I would have given a comprehensive walkthrough, but I don't know the entire movesets of these Pokemon. The only thing that I remembered is that Face Leech is extremely weak to pretty much everything. So basically, even though it was resilient to fighting types, a Mach Punch will deal with it. Next up is a Zoo Zuka? Luca Zamone? Or Zamon, or however that accent makes it sound. And I do in fact recall what type this is. It is an Ice Dragon type, which is precisely why I wanted to go for... Go for Derek right here, seeing as though he's capable of Iron Slam, which should. I say should, I'm hoping it does. Take care of... Oh. Well, that's just bullying, and I don't appreciate that. Right. Now let's try and do what we were trying to initially do. I am going to try and keep it... Oh. Well, I was going to say keep it at regular speed, but if we do need to heal, or if we're just waiting for the weather to hurt us, I will just, like, power through that. Now, hopefully this one won't freeze us like the last one. And hopefully we'll actually be able to take... Well, say, take this hit, get this hit in. And we do indeed. And does it, it do enough? It does indeed. If I'd like to say the word indeed anymore. Right, next up is Terma. Oh, that was... That was his mu that mushroom one he used last time, and I can't remember how I defeated it. I think I poisoned it, I'm not... I think I poisoned it, but I'm not sure. So, Lydia is going to be my best shot here. So, Poison Slash in the hopes that... Oh, it knows Earthquake. Right, um... <gasps> oh, I know. Right. Brainwave. Perish Song. So, we've got that. So, let's get Liam out of there. So, um... Uh, let's just do Kira for a bit of... Um... Perish count fell to two, and then we'll just heal. Then perish count will fall to one. And now I'm anticipating the switch, and I can't remember his final Pokemon. But if I recall, it, sh it should be weak to fighting type. I have been mistaken. I had in my mind that it was a Giga, that his last Pokemon was Giga Wolf, not Shadaru. Welp. I don't know why my brain thought it was Giga Wolf. And, of course, fly misses. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Yeah, for some reason I had it in my mind that his last Pokemon wasn't Shadaru, but it was Gigawolf. So I would have just been able to use Sky Uppercut on Map Punch to deal with it. And then we would have just been left with, uh, what do you, Majigger? You know what I'm saying, Terma, that's the word. Right. Now I'm going to try and Belly Drum and, yes, take that attack is what I was wanting to do. So we can heal, and then hopefully, 
we can hit it with this fly and it will deal with it and be done. Now I say be done, it's still got that annoying terma. Right. Now it's his strongest Pokemon versus probably my strongest Pokemon at this point, even though it's not the highest level. Now it's a mushroom, so you'd, you'd assume it's got some grass type in there, so I'm hoping... Literally what? Since when, can a, since when is a mushroom electric? This makes no sense. But I, I don't know, I'm not going to complain. We've defeated Senex the s a second time. Kerr. Never subcontract the work out to legendaries. Even if they're evil ones, this job costs my personal intervention. Now to erase you from history, you will never even have been born. Uh, uh, screaming. This is what Marty felt like at the undersea ball. Oh, uh huh, it stopped. What devilry is this? Who dares interfere with my power? Y you, 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 him, me. I have a haiku for you. Want to hear it? Confound you Afro Masters and your insanity. I do not wish to hear your haiku. My haiku goes like this. My fist of justice. Didgeridoo pump action blast. Oh, curse his antic disposition. It deflects all my dark spells. Well, would you like to hear another haiku, friends? I thought this was a mountain, not water. Asimov, you're alive. I cannot die. For I am the unutterably moxious accordion thief. Yep, you're entirely back to normal. Wait. Yeah, he only just slipped down to that cave entrance. I'm not done yet. There's still one more thing I can do. No, not that. Yes, that. What? He's going to bake a cake. What? What are you really up to, Senek? Baking a cake. Let me see. Flour. Only you can stop him now. I've done as much as I can, but it's up to you to do the rest. Wh what is this? Two large eggs. Don't let him get to the water. Doesn't that go in first? And the water. What is this insanity? Demerara sugar. Oh my sainted aunt, Tori, stop him. This is your attendant speaking. The elevator has arrived. What elevator? Where? Don't let him get in! Lift going down! No! And this is indeed where I anticipate the game to break normally. And indeed it has as well. So picture this. The game is, is technically over, although I will be coming back to complete the, um, the extras that I didn't show you. Hey, remember that time I played Pokemon Snakewood, which was literally about five minutes ago? I do, and weren't there some great parts? And by great parts, I mean literally some parts that I remember. Let's take a look back at some of them. Ahahaha, <laughs> like this time when we were given this egg, only who became Liam later on. But what about this time, when we caught Kira with the long-lost Frank who died in the PC? But what about this time when we when we captured Lydia and she poisoned Clarice? <laughs> but what about the time when we caught Malia on the Island of Calm? Wasn't that a jolly old time? <laughs> and but then what about that time I made many cuts and finally caught Scott the Ornery Devil? <laughs> and then what about that time in, at university when we caught Derek, who is in fact a camera? <laughs> And wasn't this a fun time for many, many people? But you didn't see my fun, did you? And then, I figured I'd throw this in for good measures. Goodbye and thank you. <laughs>